Dino Malaspini with Emerson Swan. And this, we're going to present a FlexCon hydronic uh, expansion and potable expansion tank presentation. That is the bladder going up and down in an expansion tank. So that's kind of cool. And these are potable and hydronic expansion tanks made by FlexCon. We're going to talk about application and sizing today. Thermal expansion tanks. Uh, when water is heated, it expands. Unlike air, water cannot be compressed and must have a place to go when it heats up and expands. With backflow prevention codes mandated by many communities, backflow devices are now required. These backflow prevention devices stop the expansion of water from dissipating into the city water main. We now have a closed loop system. Being that the water has no place to go, here are some of the following negative results. The pressure relief valve could frequently let go and waste water. There could be a scalding threat to occupants, little kids, whoever may be nearby, and basically could eventually cause the pressure relief valve to lose its effectiveness altogether. So if you can see here from the picture, they basically put a check valve here. In the old days, it would actually expand back into the main line, and that can no longer happen. So obviously on this side, there, there's a faucet, some fixtures, it can't expand there. The solution is to provide an expansion tank on the cold water side to provide a reservoir for the expansion of hot water to go. So you can see where you place the pH tank. In this case, it's a potable expansion tank. As the water heats up in the hot water tank, it'll flow into the uh, pH tank. So how a FlexCon expansion tank is made. Um, basically, it's got a stainless steel connection polypropylene liner, heavy duty butyl bladder, uh, welded test dome, and uh, a Schrader valve on the bottom. Prior to expansion, there's little or no water in the expansion tank. Tanks come from the factory pressurized at 40 PSI, but it's very important that you match the incoming water pressure from the street. Could be 60, could be 40, it could be 75. Anything over 75, you're gonna start blowing seals uh, but you do need to match that. As the water is heated, it would go into the bladder type area and the air on the bottom would be more compressed. Meanwhile, the air within the tank becomes more pressurized. When hot water is called for, the pressurized air will force water back into the tank. It's important to size your expansion tank correctly. The larger the water heater or hotter the water, you have expansion will take place. Thus you need a bigger expansion tank. So these are the pipe hung expansion tanks, the smaller ones. Um, the pH 5 is probably the most popular that you see in most hanging off of uh, most uh, water heaters. So the floor mounted ones, which are for larger systems and hotter water, would sit on the floor and you can see their volumes go up to 85 gallons. So this is a uh, quick sizing guide. So. Let's say most houses have a 50 gallon water heater. You could use a pH um, 5 or a pH 8. And as the temperature goes up, you need a larger tank. So a pH 12 would be used at 180 degrees. As you get into the larger tanks, uh, maybe if you had a, a really large residential and you're using a 200 gallon water heater, you go to a WH 32. So now we go into hydronic sizing tanks. Um, note that they're Taco green so they can match the pumps and the relays and all the other accessories that Taco provides. Hydronic expansion. They're pressurized at the factory at 12 PSI because that's what most systems run at. There's sometimes more. They are used in closed loop, loop systems so they don't need the polypropylene liner up on top because it's not uh, touching potable water. It, they use the same butyl bladder. The air valve is on the bottom. You should always check your air pressure when you're um, putting in a new expansion tank because you don't know if it's leaked or it wasn't set at the factory correctly. It could have changed and then your hex nut is where it would hang off the pipe. So these again are the ones that you would uh, use most likely to hang off the, the existing piping that is on the, in the boiler room. The HTX30 is by far the most sold uh, expansion tank out there or that size, I should say. And then when you get into the larger heating systems with more BTUs, you would have floor mounted ones. And we can see from here, our quick sizing guys, that FlexCon was nice enough to make us. So an average house may have a 100,000 BTU boiler. You can see they go by um, what type of radiation you have, whether it be fin tube, convectors, or cast iron baseboard. 
thin tube at 100,000 BTUs uh, would be an HTX30, which I, I said was the most common as you get into some of the other applications, you use larger tanks. And if you had a million BTU boiler, you use a large SHXT90 uh, in a fin tube application, which would definitely be a floor mounted. There's a lot of water in that, as you'll see in a second. Uh, we also have another level up, which called ASME tanks. And ASME tanks are um, apartments, office buildings, elderly housing. It's just another level of quality, I guess you would call it. Each tank is individually built by an ASME certified welder. Each tank is inspected by an ASME certified inspector. The wall thickness is seven to 10 times larger. An ASME certified tank must be constructed in a strict accordance with the ASME boiler and pressure vessel codes. So this would be again in a commercial application where if there was a catastrophic failure, it would be um, limited to stay right in that room, in that tank, and it wouldn't uh, explode. So this would be a cross-reference chart um, with thermal and ASME tanks and hydronic expansion tank. You can see that I added in the Zimlet, which you'll, um, they are a newcomer to the industry. They're Italian-made tank, which you'll see in a second. And they just make uh, uh, basically residential tanks as well. So the Flexcom advantages, they're a leader in the industry, they have local inventory, local support, and they have a high quality tank. The HTX failure rate was 6 out of 10,000 in 21. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact Emerson Swan or myself and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you.